Meme review. Looking at it for the first time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not funny at all. <laughs> it's a, a wonderful mishmash of color and and sights and sounds and oh and muppetry i give this meme a a 9.8 no wait a 9.9 <laughs> uh, i think i'm doing this right I wish I had a rock. <laughs> uh, that the accuracy is off the charts. Humor, um, that's uh, that's excellent. Nine point three. I'm not that old. And last one. <laughs> I don't make my own ties though, so Masters beats me. That one gets a 10 because uh, it's like the, the both of us together. And uh, I love the one with Kermit. <laughs> okay, GA, here we go. Meme review. Let's do this. All right, first one up. Let's see here. <laughs> uh, this is the <laughs> wearing a bow tie. <laughs> fans. <laughs> Star Wars, th there's Ray, okay? Okay? Look at the shiny bald spot, okay? This is truth. All right, truth right here. All right, well done. This is like nine out of 10, definitely. Even 9.5. I love it. <laughs> wearing a bow tie, wearing a bow tie with Vans, bow tie Vans, Star Wars themed outfit. Oh, this one's actually not for me. You emailed me and this one's not for me, which is good because I didn't actually think it was that funny. Zero out of 10 stars. <laughs> uh, okay, next up, second one. Let's see here. Me when I hear Mr. Masters obnoxiously loud <laughs> Turn it up to 11! Turn it up to 11! That is truly... Look, man. The piano was made to be played loud. Uh, so can hear it. uh, it's so true. That is truth. That is just a true statement, okay? Everybody's face is like that. It's truth. Accuracy, 10 out of 10. Uh, humor, I'll take it. Yeah, it's it's up there. It's a good one. We'll, we'll call this one... Uh, I give a, across the board, 8 out of 10. All right. Last but not least, here we go. Trying to figure out who has the biggest bow tie going. <laughs> Serendipitously, Mr. Moyer was my mentor when I came to GA my very first year. So just saying, okay? Uh, definitely accurate. And again, truth, all right? So uh, on, on the level of truth, all of the memes definitely like nine nine point five out of ten. Uh, my favorite, most humorous, I think, is the clown uh, slowly getting dressed. Because, <laughs> yeah. Thanks, GA. Take care. Meme review. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that's an interesting one. Um, clever. There I am sitting in a stall. It looks like in a. Teletubby outfit, looking forlorn and lonely in the classics department. That's moderately accurate. Um, I do have Pippa, don't forget. Uh, the other side, uh, that looks pretty ap accurate. A bunch of happy, engaged, um, modern language folks um, enjoying their camaraderie together. That looks pretty accurate. Um, very clever. I think it's it's kind of funny and clever. I like the way you, you did this. Uh, I'm going to give it a... Um, <laughs> Eight out of ten. Well done. Mean Monday. All right, let's open this up. 
All right. Me finding out that Mr. Mole grows mushrooms on the side. I was pretty terrified what you guys are going to put on here, but I love it. Don't know where you guys got that picture. I, you know, I probably know where you got that picture of me. Um, growing some, some substrate back right there, about to incubate some blue oysters, it looks like. Got me in my kitchen, got my mask over my head. Got a SpongeBob and it's a little, uh, little trippy right there. It's kind of hurt my eyes a little bit, but that's cool. Um, no, this is good. I love it. Totally original. Um, I'm pretty, uh, pretty shocked, but not, not, not super surprised. This was, was sort of predictable. Love the SpongeBob there. This is, this is definitely funny. Totally accurate. Uh, yeah, I like this. Great job, guys. I give this a 10 out of 10. Um, lo love the me Mondays. Uh, keep them up. Thanks a lot. Meme review. I have two memes that I need to review. The first of them is the oh so accurate and poignant Oprah inspired. You get a gummy bear one and you get a gummy bear one. And that one was truthful. It put a chuckle in the silent place of my heart. I give that one an eight out of 10. My second meme review was the one with two faces where I am looking all happy during a state of the school address and then the sad face happens. That one hit me really in the depth of my soul. It made me laugh out loud somewhat uncontrollably. And because of the truth of that meme, it earns a very solid 10 out of 10. So congratulations, all you memers for the edition. You inspire me every day. And that is the end of my meme review. Back to you. Meme review. Here we go. I'm opening the meme. The meme is not currently open. <laughs> I mean, 100% accurate right there. That is 100% accurate. I, I have no response. That is, a, that is a 10 out of 10. That is two thumbs up. And Caitlin Bull and Zara, I know you took that picture. I am coming for you. Wow. Close. <laughs> She's too warm. I mean, again, 1,000% accurate. Um, facial, facial emotions right there are perfect. Um, the statement is perfect. Everything about that. That one might actually even be better than the first one. Um, again, 10 out of 10 stars, two big thumbs up, fantastic. Opening la meme, en français, shout out to Mr. Tinsley. Wait, what? <laughs> Playing survivor in math class, Mr. Nelson. Did you math I get it now, I totally get it now. Sorry, it took me a minute there to understand what was going on. Um, yeah, I mean, math class, survivor. Like, could you survive the whole time? I don't think so. Um, shout out to Jason Wang for winning season one last year in Algebra Two honors. Um, sadly, he's not in pre-calc honors, so this year he's just been banished from the show. But maybe he'll be back for some kind of elite competition his senior year. That one, I, I actually like the first two better. I'm gonna go eight out of 10 on that one. Meme review. All right, let's take a look at my first meme here. The amount of material we learn in AP stat. <laughs> The amount of material on the AP stat exam. All right, that's funny, but that is not accurate. I'm gonna have to go with a six out of 10, acting like I teach you a bunch of ridiculous stuff. All right, next. Me telling my entire life story to my AP stat class after Mrs. Mikowski tells us to share our favorite board game. <laughs> now that one's cute. I like that one. That's a good one, originality. Let's give that, a, let's give that one an 8.5 out of 10. Me, review. Oh, SpongeBob, he's so cute. Wait a minute, oh, it's me taking a deep breath. <gasps> I don't know what you're talking about. I give it an eight to 10. SpongeBob is really cute and I do like him and I'm almost getting as square as him if I stay in from COVID much longer. Thanks for the meme. Hmm, things that you miss in 2020. A little predictable, many memes about that right now, but wait a minute, oh, missing my sports report. That makes it funny and makes it cute. I like it. I'll give that a 9 out of 10. Thanks. Okay. Um, just seeing this meme for the first time. Holy cow. Right? That's appropriate. It's uh, pretty crazy that people can think that just by simply opening the door and showing an act of kindness that you can be a cow. Um, no. You need to do a little bit better than that. Um, that's common courtesy. You got to go above and be out. Be out? Beyond to be a cow. <laughs> yeah, but that pig's kind of cute. <laughs> that pig's kind of cute. That, that's a, it, it, it's a cow. Oink, oink. I don't know. That's it. Bye. Meme review. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh... <laughs> All right. <laughs> all right, first of all, let's set the record straight. I do not write essay-length emails. I mean, they were a little bit long at times, so I, it's, this is going to get a, a six for accuracy. I also don't think they're gibberish either. I thought it was pretty clear and succinct. An eight for creativity. I actually don't know the office that well, but I'm assuming that this fits the situation. A ten for humor. I do think it's funny. I just think uh, 
you know, it'll be a little bit unfair to all those emails I sent last year, but but I'll, I'll take your point and try to keep it uh, short in the future. So good job on this meme too. Thanks. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this one a ten for uh, humor and creativity and uh, for effectively making fun of me. Uh, and also, I'm gonna give myself a really high uh, mark for wearing the coolest hat in history with my old LL Bean parka and. Uh, I had a lot of fun making that Antarctica video, so uh, good job on the meme with this one. I think it's really, really good. Meme review. Yeah, I don't think this one is funny. Yeah, I don't think this one is funny. It's me chasing a car. I don't chase cars. I don't know where that came from, but when I saw that meme last year, I was like, what? Yeah, I don't chase cars, so I don't think it's funny. I have chased kids, um, so if I was chasing a kid, that would have made me laugh. Yeah, this one was a little funnier um, because it does happen almost daily when I have to come into a classroom and find somebody. Um, and usually, before I even say their name, they know who I'm looking for. Yeah, this one made me giggle.